But EA did an absolute madness. With team of the season coming to a close, FIFAcoinzone.com are starting a brand new thing on their site where they're doing top series packs. Make sure you go check them out and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off. Before we start this video, I need to know who voted for Perisic. Come on, I need to know who, which one of you guys voted for this card. Now, don't get me wrong. This card looks incredible in game. It looks like a very, very good card. But let me show you. Let me show you what you guys could have been missing out on. This is also a little bit of a spoiler alert for part of the video, which I'll get into in just a second. But you guys missed out on something magical that could have happened. Now, let me show you guys this guy's base card. Paulson's base card has 85 jumping and 86 aggression, meaning he will literally win most aerial battles with his base card, given the fact that he's six foot four. There is not a whole lot of plays in this game at a six foot four with those kind of physical stats. Now, if we have a look at Paulson's best cards in the game, he has an 88 rated as his best card. He would have had like a 93 rated footies. You guys have missed out on a card that is six foot four with 99 jumping, 99 aggression, 99 head accuracy. This card would have been absolutely fantastic. But you know what? You missed out. And now we've got an overpriced Perisic SBC. I hope you're happy, whoever voted Perisic. I hope you're happy. They did. They did an absolute madness. They brought out Arias and Musa. Now, both of these cards look absolutely phenomenal in game. They both look like incredible, incredible cards. And they're both really, really easy to complete. I'm very happy with both of these weekly objectives. They are literally perfect. And I've got to give a massive shout out to Foot Economist or Jamie. Uh, since he he's sort of uh, been employed at EA as a, a head of live content, I think he is. He's been bringing out some fantastic content and massive, massive props to Foot Economist for that. Because now we have SPC cards and draft we have this musa card that looks incredible that is relatively if not very easy to to obtain in fact it's incredibly easy to obtain and we also have this arias card who also is incredibly easy to obtain and a fantastic looking card this card looks incredible in game like uh the likes of for example musa does and they're both incredibly incredibly easy to obtain in game now let's talk about both of them both of them you don't even need to win the games with both of them uh for musa for example it's score with a saudi league player in four separate rival matches and it's an assist using a la liga defender in four separate rival matches now let me quickly specify something for arias you cannot use a striker at right back that does not count as a La Liga defender. Their default position on their foot card has to be defensive. So you need to use a left back, a right back, left wing back, right wing back, center backs. You cannot use a different position, but start them in defense. That does not work, sadly. That's something a lot of people got confused about last time we had something very similar. And it just doesn't work. That's not how it's done. It doesn't work like that. It has to be a default defensive position on their foot card. And then you use them to get the assist. That's, that's as simple as that. With Ahmed Musa, it's really easy. Score using Saudi League professional plays in four separate rival matches. Um, there is a team of the season over here. It's actually a fantastic card in game. He feels really decent. There's a few team of the season, to be fair, from the Saudi League. They got their own dedicated team of the season. So there's a, there's a nice few cards. You know, Onyi Kuru is not part of that. He's Turkey's League. Um, Dijanini has, I think that's how you say his name. Dijanini has a really good inform. Uh, this card's really good in game. Feels decent in game. Tawamba. Um, what I would do is just put one of these or two of these cards in your normal foot squad for example this is my normal foot squad i'm not recommending using this squad i know this squad's ridiculously expensive but just use them in your normal foot squad whichever foot squad you are most comfortable with um use them in that squad and then play games with them. It's as, it's as simple as that. Uh, and I'm pretty sure there's a few ways to work around it as well. You can always sub on someone after you finish. For example, have a cam and a striker um, on your bench and sub them off. Uh, sub these two players off once you've got the goal. Because it's only one goal. Then you don't even have to win the game, to be honest. You can, you can even play just with a full Saudi League team. Lose four games, but score a goal in each one of those games. And you've got Musa really, really easily. You don't have to win the game. You don't have to sweat. It's going to be a lot of fun. You can do it for a lot of fun. Um, um, and it's not difficult at all, you know. Even in the higher divisions, you can literally just go constant pressure or all-out attack. And I'm pretty sure you won't struggle very much with it at all. I know this team looks incredible to play against. There's a few teams I've played against tonight that are even better than this team. But this is a nice team, to be fair. But there's a few teams I've played against tonight with even better teams, even better players. And to be honest, you don't even need to put 100% effort into it. It's not as difficult as you may think. Something I'd like to try as we actually get an opportunity to score here. And my guy misses it. Thank God he's put it in the net there. Something I would like to try real quick is seeing if quitting the game by dashboarding still adds on the score for you. We'll have to see that real quick. I'm going to give this guy the win. Um, he's got Abdul Rahman. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let him score with his Abdul Rahman because I think he's trying to do the challenge as well. 
Uh, I'm going to be a nice guy about it, all right? We could have just quit by now, but I'm going to be a nice guy about it. We're going to move the keeper out of the way for him to score. Uh, hopefully, he catches on and does it. Please catch on, bro. There. There you go. You're welcome. There you go. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is, now we scored with that, I'm going to go ahead and score another own goal real quick um, so that he's 2-0 up. And then I'm going to dashboard the game and see if it adds on a point because I heard that this sometimes works. Now, obviously... Please only do this if you're going to score an own goal like I just did. Don't don't go and waste someone's time. You know, don't go and do that. I know that there's a lot of people out there that aren't nice people. All right. And some might watch my videos. Don't don't be that guy. All right. This is just a really quick and effective. This will work as well. If, it, if this works like this, we'll have to see if this works like this, then it will work with the assists. It will work with the goals. It will work with other ones in the future. Now the big reveal. Oh, it doesn't work. Okay, that didn't work. We're going to try and bust another myth. I'm going to see if scoring three own goals makes it work. I can't remember what it was that I did last time. That I've, I've done this before and it's worked. I'm trying to think what I did last time. I think it was scoring three own goals. So we're going to try that. We're going to try that again. Oh, what an idiot. All right, we're going to try that again. We just wasted We just wasted a, a plus one on our moves. I'm not that bothered. I will get this done really quickly anyway. I just want to see if there's a quick method for you guys. Oh, great. This is this is not a nice team to face up against straight after. We should have just, we should have just stayed in the other game. <laughs> Okay, well, what I'm going to try and do here, hopefully we can score with um, one of our Saudi league players. When we do that, the plan is to score three own goals and see if that gets busted. If that myth gets busted, then we are the myth busters officially. Um, and there's no super quick, ultra cheat method. Especially on PlayStation anyway, you know, there might be something on Xbox, but on PlayStation, there's no like cheat method to do it. Um, and and there's no like, there's no like quick way to do it. Please, EA gods, just allow this to go in, man. Just allow this to go in, please. Oh my god, that was so close. Oh, come on, we're through. Come on, hold him off. Hold him off. Please, green time. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we scored with Twamba, all right? We scored with him. Now let's try and score three own goals and see if that works. Now, this guy doesn't have any uh, any plays for, for challenges. This guy's just trying to sweat the game out. He just wants to play rivals for some reason. Play champs, bro. Play champs. Okay, that did not even go the right area, you know? Like... Give me the ball. I'll literally score for you. You're not going to score otherwise. <laughs> Come on, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. So here's goal number one. There's goal number one. I, I got weird feeling this guy's going like, to dab on me or shush me or something. <laughs> All right. How did Mkhitaryan go over there so quick? Anyway, doesn't matter. All right. Here, that's goal number one. It will boot me out after three own goals. That's annoying. Okay. It will boot me out after three uh, own goals. So hopefully um that should mean that being boot out i don't know it, last time it worked for me last time i was trying to do an objective i got booted out from her goals it actually worked for me weirdly enough so we'll see we'll see this guy's caught on now he knows i'm giving i'm, I'm scoring own goals real quick all right there we go there's goal number two uh if you want to hurry up your celebration i can score goal number three we can have done please all right got here's own goal number three we've scored with a saudi arabian player this will boot me out you forfeited the match due to scoring too many own goals. Now let's see if the myth is correct or if it's if it's incorrect in terms of it adds on whatever you're doing right now. I've got a really low skill rating. Holy crap! I'm, I'm like really bad. Okay, no, 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 no. All right, let's go back. Let's check. Will it have added on one for my Musa? It does. There you go. So that's an incredibly quick way to get it done. You score and then you score three own goals. You don't have to play the full 20 minutes of a foot game. Score, then score three own goals. I know it gives you the loss, but it's super, super quick. And it's the quickest method I know of. Um, there you go. The myth The myth has been busted and it's correct. I knew I'd done it before correctly. Um, so yeah, if you score if you score with a, a Saudi Arabian or assist with a um, the League Santander player and then you score three own goals to give your opponent the win, you forfeit the match, but you get it done really quickly. You should get it done super quickly. Done in like 10 minutes if you're quick enough, you know? Just make a full team of Saudi Arabian players. It doesn't even matter. Just go full full constant pressure, all out attack straight away, fast build up, uh, score a goal, then score three own goals. I'm sure your opponent won't be mad about winning the game and, you know, you get your Musa really quickly to start finishing off your champs games and whatnot. Hopefully this video was helpful. I think that's going to be pretty helpful. I think that's pretty helpful for you guys. Uh, in terms of the swap deals player, score 10 goals using French players and rivals. You can literally do that in one game if you just, if you get uh, the right player, basically. Win three squad bar matches using players with specific requirements. Again, you can get that done really quickly. Um, and, and yeah, they're the, they're the only other ones that we've got. So, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you lads later.